Hi, I'm Kristen Oviedo, and this is the geometric formula for ovals. So mathematically, uh, an oval is actually an ellipse, and it has a very specific set of parameters that define it, just like a circle does. You can actually think of an ellipse as kind of a squashed circle, and the mathematics that represent it actually reflect that. So just a note before we start, we are going to be working with Cartesian coordinates just because I feel like it's kind of the default system that most people start off working with. Um, so there are lots of other coordinate systems we could analyze this in, but we're going to start with Cartesian or the XY plane. So for a circle centered at the origin, you can define it pretty much all in terms of R, the radius. So the equation for the circle is X squared plus Y squared equals r squared. Easy peasy. But for our ellipse, we're instead, instead of this distance, we're going to define it through the focal points and their combined distance. So you can think of the circle like if you went from the middle out here and back again, and if you just took that center of that circle and scooted these points out but did the same thing, this is how an ellipse is defined. And the ellipse's equation kind of mirrors this one for an ellipse that looks like this, x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. So I haven't defined a and b yet. They're actually going to depend on the focal points. a is going to be the distance from the center, the outside of the longer axis. And then B is going to be the distance from the center to the shorter side. So again, you see kind of the symmetry between these two. Um, just know that with the ellipse, you actually do need these two points to define it, not just one, like with the circle. So the equation that I've given you here is a very generalized case. I mean, it's a pretty standard looking ellipse that's centered at the origin. So if you want to create an equation for an ellipse that's moved somewhere else or that's turned so that the long axis is in the y direction, um, it's really easy to do. It's a little bit outside of our scope right now, um, but it basically just involves subtracting constants from these two terms. So I'm Kristen Oviedo, and that is the geometric formula for an oval.